Good morning, mga mahal, my fellow God's beloved. Hallelujah. You are priceless. We are priceless. Bought with a price, great price, that God did for us on the cross. That's how much He loves us. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. God did His all because of His great love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you, Lord, that you are always with us, in us, through us. Father God, thank you, Lord, that with you nothing is impossible. You can make all things possible, Jesus. God, thank you, Lord, for today. Yes, Lord. Today again, I can do all things through Christ who gives me, who gives me strength. Yes, Father. And it is a wonderful day again. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, O Father. We surrender ourselves into your mighty hands. God, we can do nothing without you, Lord. Personally, on myself, I cannot do everything without you, God. Seeing me through it all. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Bless you, O oh God, and we glorify your Father. God, thank you, Lord. Thank you that you are in my life. <laughs> thank you, Father. Through it all, you are with me. Through all the seasons. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You are forever in my life. You see me through the seasons. Cover me with your hand and lead me in your righteousness and I look to you. And I wait on you. I'll sing to you, Lord, a hymn of love for your faithfulness to me. I'm carried in everlasting arms. And you'll never let me go through it all. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Father God, yes, I sing to you, Lord, a hymn of love for your faithfulness to me. I'm carried in everlasting arms, and you'll never let me go through it all, Father God. Carry me in your hands, Lord, and do. Father, thank you that you are forever in my life. And you see me through all the seasons of my life, Father. Thank you. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness. And I look upon you, Father. 
I look to you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, that you are with me through all the years and even this time, Father. You will be with me. You will never leave me nor forsake me, Father, because you have said that. I will never leave you nor forsake me. And uh, you have sent the Holy Spirit guiding us, leading us through, Lord. For thus, your children, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You are always with us. Father God, as I partake the bread and the cup, I remember you. I do this in remembrance of your Father. And I proclaim your days, Lord, till you comes. I will do this, Lord, as often as I can in remembrance of you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the cup of the covenant I have with you, Lord, for the forgiveness of my sins, O oh, Father. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I bless you, O oh, Father, and I glorify you, O oh, God. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Oh, hallelujah, Father, as I dig again your word, help us to understand you. Give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of your Father as we continue to read your word. We are now reading on Proverbs chapter 14. We finished reading yesterday, Proverbs chapter 13 and uh, I do believe that God will give us a word that will help us in our daily activities hallelujah thank you Lord amen Proverbs chapter 14 verse 1 a wise woman builds her home, but a foolish woman tears it down with her own hands. Verse 2 Those who follow the right path fear the Lord. Those who take the wrong path despise Him. Verse 3 A fool's proud talk becomes a rod that beats him but the words of the wise keep them safe verse 4 without oxen a stable stays clean but you need a strong ox for a large harvest an honest witness does not lie. A false witness breathes lies. 6. A mocker seeks wisdom and never finds it, but knowledge comes easily to those with understanding. 7. Stay away from fools, for you won't find knowledge in their lips. 8. The prudent understand where they are going, but fools deceive themselves. 9. Fools make fun of guilt, but the godly acknowledge it and seek reconciliation. Then, each heart knows its own bitterness, and no one else can fully share its joy. 11. 
The house of the wicked will be destroyed, but the tents of the godly will flourish. Twelve. There is a path before each person that seems right, but it ends in death. Thirteen. The laughter can conceal a heavy heart, but when the laughter ends, the grief remains. Fourteen. Backsliders get what they deserve. Good people receive their reward. Fifteen. Only simpletons believe everything they told. The prudent carefully consider their steps. Sixteen. The wise are cautious, and avoid danger. Fools plunge ahead with reckless confidence. Seventeen. Short-tempered people do foolish things, and schemers are hated. Eighteen. Simpletons are clothed with foolishness, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. Nineteen. Evil people will blow before good people; the wicked will bow. At the gates of the godly, evil people will bow before good people. The wicked will bow the gates of the godly. Twenty. The poor are despised even by their neighbors, while the rich have many friends. Twenty-one. It is a sin to. The little one's neighbor. Blessed are those who help the poor. Twenty-two. If you plan to do evil, you will be lost. If you plan to do good, you will receive unfailing love and faithfulness. Twenty-two. Amen. Twenty-three. Work brings profit, but mere talk leads to poverty. Twenty-four. Wealth is a crown for the wise; the effort of fools yields only foolishness. Twenty-five. A truthful witness saves lives. But false witness is a traitor. Twenty-six. Those who fear the Lord are secure; He will be a refuge for their children. Twenty-seven. Fear of the Lord is a life-giving fountain; it offers escape for the snares of death. Twenty-eight. A growing population is a king's glory. A prince without subjects has nothing. Twenty-nine. People with understanding control their anger. A hot temper shows great foolishness. Verse thirty. A peaceful heart leads. To a healthy body, jealousy is like cancer in the bones. Thirty-one. Those who oppress the poor insult their maker, but helping the poor honors him. Thirty-two. The wicked are crushed by disaster, but. The godly have a refuge when they die. Thirty-three. Wisdom is 
enshrined in all understanding hearts. Wisdom is not found among fools. Thirty-four. Godliness makes a nation great, but sin is a disgrace to any people. Thirty-five. A king rejoices in wise servants, but is angry with those who disgrace him. Father, thank you, Lord, for your word. Every verse of it, there is a so much wisdom and meaning. Help us, Lord, to understand and to apply it in our lives. I need it personally, Father. I need your wisdom, Lord. I need your word to guide me through, Lord, every moment of my life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You may read Again, for further understanding, it could be in another version of the Bible. And uh, so that we can learn more. Hallelujah, Father, thank you. We can read this on ourselves, Lord, in our spare time. To learn more, O oh Father, because without you, we are nothing, Lord. Without your guidance, O oh Father, we sit down from you, Lord. I need it, Lord, personally. Thank you, Father, for your love, O oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Help me, Lord, to understand. Help me, Father, and guide me through, Lord, every day, every moment of my life. May me read this. Chapter 14, verses 4. Let us see. Verse 4. Were there no oxen? The manger is empty, but from the strength of an ox comes an abundant harvest. It says here that, what he, he's trying to explain here. When farmer has an oxen for plowing, his food throw for the animals will be empty. The only way to keep your life free of people problems is to keep it free of other people but if your life is empty of people it is useless and if you live only for yourself your life loses its meaning instead of avoiding people we should serve others share the faith and work for justice. If your life clean but empty, is your life clean but empty, or does it give evidence of your serving God wholeheartedly? Verse 6 A mocker seeks wisdom and finds none, but knowledge comes easily to the discerning. Six, we all know mockers, people who scoff at every word, instruction, or advice. They never find wisdom because they don't seek it seriously. Wisdom comes easily to those who pay attention to experienced people and to God. If the wisdom you need does not come easily to you, perhaps your attitude is the barrier. Verse 9 Fools mock, mock at making amends for sin, but goodwill is found among the upright. How, how rarely we find goodwill among us, around us today. Angry drives scrawl 
each other in the streets. People fight to be first in line, disgruntled employers and employers both demand their rights, but the common bond of God's people should be goodwill. Those who those with goodwill think the best of others and assume that others have good motives and intend to do what is right. When people crosses you and you feel your blood pressure rise, rising, ask yourself, how can I show good to this person? Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We have so much more to learn in this world that we are living. Father, we need you. I need you personally, Lord. Every moment, I need you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I surrender my life into your mighty hands again today, Lord. Lead me, Lord. Take charge. I love you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your love to me also. And Lord, bless us all who read with me today. And thank you, Lord, for our lives. Thank you, po, mga mahal, for reading with me the word of God, his love letter. I do believe that God is speak to you as well. And uh, may the Lord bless you and uh, keep you safe in everything you do. May the joy of the Lord be your strength as much as I, <laughs> it is also to me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, O God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Paalam po mga mahal. Hanggang sa susunod. Take care.